Home link two, two. Evaluating expressions with exponential notation. We have been working on the powers of 10 and expanded in standard form. So standard notation is how we see numbers normally throughout the day. For example, I'm going to flip to a new slide. Standard form would be this. 237,586. That is standard form. That's how we write numbers normally. That's how we see them throughout the day. This is your standard form. If I wanted it in expanded form, I need to know the values or the worth of a number. So I need to know my place value to know how much that digit is worth. For example, if I want to see the expanded form of this, I start with my 2. My 2 is in the hundred thousandths place value, meaning it's worth 200,000. Plus, my next digit is 3. It is in the ten thousandths place. So it's worth 30,000, its value. Plus, my next digit is 7. It is in the thousandths place. Its value is 7,000 or it's worth 7,000. Now my five is in the hundreds place. It is worth, or its value is 500, plus eight, 80, because it's in the tens place, so its value is 80, plus six. We then looked at, if I'm gonna go back to another slide, we then looked at powers of 10 and exponents. So if we have 10 to the third power, that tells us we're either multiplying 10 three times like this, 10 times 10 times 10, or it means one with three zeros. And how I can check my work is I know 10 times 10 is 100 times 10. Zero times anything is zero, and then 1 times 1 is 1. And then I have 1,000 after I add. So let's go back to our worksheet. So it says evaluating expressions with exponential notation. So it says write each number in standard form. Remember that keywords or standard notation. So we're looking at 10 to the 6th power. So I need one and six zeros. So that's one million. Number two says three times ten to the sixth. So if I know ten to the sixth is one million, I then need to times it by three because of PEMDAS. So I know I'm going to have three million. Because from number one, I already know that 10 to the 6th power is 6 million. Then I just need to multiply that by 3. Do 3 and 4 on your own. And then it says, explain to someone at home how you solved problems 1 through 4. So you can use my example. First, I found out what 10 to the 6th power was by writing a 1 and then 6 zeros. Or I multiplied 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So then it says write each number in a standard notation, then compare by writing greater than, less than, or equal in the box. So first things first, I want to get rid of this 10 to the second power. I'm going to write a 1 with two zeros. So then I have 3 times 100 is 300. So now that I know that, so then I write, I have a 1 with three zeros because it's 10 to the third power. 2 times 1,000 is 2,000. I write my greater than symbol, just like they did here. What they did is they wrote their 22 and then added four zeros. Just like they did with the 11, they wrote the 11 first, I'm circling it, and then 
they wrote their five zeros. Do six and seven on your own, and your practice problems are... Your practice problems are finding volume. Remember to break up your box, and you can either use either formula, length times width times height, or area times base times height.